to die. What is up guys, Alex here back with another video and this is my last Sony Vegas tutorial before I start on my Cinema 40 video series and I'll be uploading a beginner's tutorial on that program this Thursday so make sure you check that out and today we're going to be learning how to do the offset transition. Now before we actually start on this tutorial I just want to give credit to Fubizzle uh, because I saw this video on the offset transition and watching that video kind of gave me the solution that I uh, needed to the one of the problems I had while trying to uh, create this effect a few weeks back. So I put a link to his channel in the description below. He has a lot of great tutorials and edits just like me. Well not so much the edits but we have pretty similar tutorials so if you want to learn more effects and transitions I suggest you go subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. So let's get started. Now with the offset transition we're going to use the video effects TV simulator plugin. Now it's pretty hard to kind of sync the effect up if you're applying the plugin to two separate video clips. So in order to not go through that hassle what we need to do is connect these two video clips and you can tell if they're connected just by this little blue marker right here. And the effect is about one to two seconds long, so. So if you mark the beginning of the transition, so set a marker, press M on your keyboard, and a little bit after the video clip changes, set another marker and we're going to pre-render the videos inside the markers so to do that we're going to get our render region with this little yellow markers and we're going to go to file render as and you want to go to let's just go with windows media video for the format and select the 6 megabits per second preset. Go to customize template. Make sure include audio is unchecked. And make sure that the resolution is 1280 by 720. And last but not least, make sure the render loop region only, the render options is checked. So hit render. So after that finishes rendering, we're going to delete all the videos between these two markers. So Select one of the markers and you want to select the video at the same time and press S on your keyboard to cut it and do the same thing for the other video clip as well. And now we're going to get our video clip that we just rendered out, insert it, and we're going to insert it between our markers. Now what you want to do is go to your video effects Go to TV Simulator and select the Reset to None preset on this small video clip we just rendered out. Now to do the offset transition, we're going to use the vertical sync. And that's all we're going to use. Now by default, the vertical sync is set to 1 and setting it to 1 means that no change is happening at all to the video we just applied the plugin to. But if you change the vertical sync value to something lower than 1, uh, the effect will start to happen. But the thing is with the vertical sync, once you set it to a lower value, uh, it'll randomize the effect. So you can't really determine uh, how the effect is going to look. So you don't have a lot of control over this uh, vertical sync. Alright, so set it back to 1, go to animate and on the beginning make sure the keyframe the vertical sync is set to 1 go to the middle set the vertical sync to a lower value and you don't want to set it too low so that it'll go really fast you just want to set it just right so 
probably around 0.3, 4, or 5. Should be good. And then go to the end of the video clip and set the vertical sync to 1 again. Let's preview the effects. And this is what you should have now. Now if you want to add some type of motion blur, you can go ahead and go to linear blur and get the vertical blur. And you want to animate the amount. So I have it, the amount start at zero, go to the middle, turn the amount up, go towards the end and turn the amount down so that you have a little blur while the transition is occurring. So that's how you do the offset transition. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you like the video, you can help me out by posting a comment and giving this video a like. And also, don't forget to check out Fubizzle if you want to learn how to create more effects in Sony Vegas. Also, another important thing, don't forget to check out my Cinema 40 tutorials for beginners which I'm going to be uploading this Thursday, so be sure you check that out, and I will see you guys next time.